Good morning. We are privileged this morning uh, to be able to gather in this place. Uh, we are grateful today for the invitation and the opportunity to be here. And we want to thank uh, Governor Phil Scott, um, the media, members of the media that have joined us today, Salvation Army officers, board members, and staff that are here, thank you, and our supporters. Um, who gather around the state today, um, dropping in um, coins and dollar bills into the red kettles that are found around the state. We are grateful for the support of each one. At a time when conflicts and disputes and divisions seem all too prevalent in our, in our culture, it gives us a great sense uh, this morning of comfort to join into the call to fight the good fight. Um, to come together for causes that are bigger than ourselves, to uh, come together to work for the good of our, our fellow neighbors and citizens and our friends around the state. While the Salvation Army existed to fulfill this simple command for over 150 years, our mission is no less important today than it has been in the past, to come together to fight against the things that are ravage, ravaging our country as we battle natural disasters and poverty and joblessness and food insecurity, human trafficking, and the opioid crisis that has hit America so badly. We've been immeasurably blessed to see just how far a little good can go. Um, over the past year, the Salvation Army has celebrated many victories in the fight for good. Uh, through the generosity of our, donor, our donors, the devotion of our staff, and the selfless efforts of our volunteers, we have successfully waged war on poverty, on hunger, on homelessness, and hopelessness um, across every zip code in our country. But as Paul reminds us in 2 Corinthians 10.4, the weapons that we fight with are not weapons of this world, but on the contrary, they have divine power to bring down strongholds. And so those weapons that we use bring down poverty and addiction and hopelessness and hunger and other strongholds that hold people captive. And so we fight back with hope and compassion and joy and um, kindness to those people that we have contact with. Here in the North and New England Division, which encompasses Maine, New Hampshire, and this beautiful state of Vermont, over 111,000 individuals have received compassionate care over this past year from the Salvation Army. Uh, the Salvation Army in Vermont has impacted the lives of over 29,000 of your citizens here in Vermont, including over 30,000 meals being served and 31,000 food bags being given in order to ensure um, full tables and full bellies of the citizens across this state. This year, we will continue to fight the good fight. Uh, we'll continue to serve those in need. When you hear the familiar sound of the bells ringing um, and see those red petals uh, on the sidewalks and in front of the stores here in your state, you'll know that you can partner with the Salvation Army to make a difference for those people that are here in your community. The most vulnerable among us will be touched this year. And we can't do it without a partnership of those people in the state who support the Salvation Army. So again, I want to thank the governor, I want to thank his staff, and I want to thank those who have joined us today, and those who are hearing um, through our media today of the official kettle kickoff of the Salvation Army. We thank you for being our partners in the past, and we thank you for joining with us this year to make this a great kettle season. It's my privilege to introduce to you a core officer from the Barry Salvation Army. Um, Lieutenant Christopher West is going to come and share a little bit about what's happening. Yes. Thank you again for welcoming us, welcoming us here. Um, as Major was saying, is that the, the kettle, the Red Kettle campaign that we have here is our largest fundraiser that we do every year. And throughout the year, this Red Kettle is going to help all the Salvation Armies with their food programs, their toys for kids during the Christmas season, um, help volunteers um, throughout the whole state to help vulnerable Vermonters that need help paying their heating bills, their prescription bills, their rent, and other bills along the way. The Salvation Army does a lot of other programs as well, and through this campaign that we do here with the Red Kettle campaign, um, that helps us fund all of those programs. By donating to the Red Kettle, this will help those Vermonters in need. The Salvation Army's mission is to make a difference and change lives for the better. We stand ready to serve all the modders in need. Wherever there is need, we will be there. The Salvation Army is dedicated to help the most vulnerable among us. 
this Red Kettle fundraiser helps us care for those people and do the most good that we can do every day. We're very proud and honored to be a partner with the governor to fight this battle. As he stands by us side by side, this mission can be won. Governor Scott has been serving all Vermonters for many years and has a passion for protecting and serving the most vulnerable Vermonters. Every day, Governor Scott has been fighting to change lives for the better in, in Vermont. And we at the South Bay Army are here and ready to help serve him and all Vermonters. It is my privilege and honor to introduce to you Governor Scott. Well, thank you very much, and thank everyone for coming uh, today, and I appreciate the music. Uh, we don't get that very often here in the ceremonial office, but I appreciate the Salvation Army Band uh, for, uh, for entertaining us uh, here today as well. Uh, you know, I talk a lot about uh, uh, the three strategic goals of my administration, about growing the economy, making Vermont more affordable, and protecting the most vulnerable, and uh, the Salvation Army accomplishes at least two out of the three. Uh, if it weren't for their good work uh, and, the, and the work of this uh, kettle campaign, uh, many would go without. Uh, and we don't have to look very far uh, to see the poverty that exists in our state. Uh, and that's why we have to all work together, pull the same direction in order to, to come to that. Uh, and, uh, and I see it, again, on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm traveling the state, visiting with Vermonters, working two or three jobs, just trying to make the, fill the gaps uh, that exist, trying to make the decisions between putting food on the table, uh, a winter coat, uh, putting fuel in the, in the tank, and again, the Salvation Army steps up uh, to do what it can to help, uh, but it takes all of us to do that. So I would uh, I would encourage those Vermonters, uh, if you see the kettle out when you're shopping, uh, to put uh, some money in the kettle, uh, because it goes a long ways to help those uh, who are really in need of our help. So again, I thank you so much for coming today on a day that uh, reminds us of the impending need. It's going to remind us a little bit more tomorrow with the single digit uh, numbers that we'll see, the temperature will be going down. And again, reflect on that and remember the people who we serve the most, who we are here, and we have more obligation to protect. Uh, and again, the Salvation Army does so much in that regard. So again, I thank you for coming and, uh, and I hope you all continue to give uh, and I appreciate your good work. So with that, I've got a, a small check that I want to make. <laughs> <laughs> Donation. Hey, I look over here Hey, can you hold on? I'm sorry. It's going to work now. I'll take one more, please. Thank you so much. Okay. The first one. And then we just have a closing prayer. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm Captain Angela Schaefer from the Rutland uh, Vermont Corps. Um, we just want to say a word of blessing um, for you and for all those here with us today and for our kettle season. So we'll just pray with us. Sure. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity that you've given us to be able to um, have the governor with us and to be able to be able to support us, Lord. And I thank you for the opportunity to um, help us to get the word out in the community, Lord, because there are people out there in need, Lord. I pray a blessing upon him and his family this holiday season and upon um, our kettle season, Lord, because you know we are doing this for you to help those in need. And I pray that you'll just continue to bless each and every one of us. And I pray this in your gracious name. Amen. Governor, do you mind if we take one group photo no, real quick? Everyone, sure. could you please? Um... Uh, if you want to just well, yeah. Why don't you um, get in the group? What do you want? What, what? Put the brass instruments down or up? No, oh, I bring them with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, tighter, tighter. 
Okay, excellent eyes here. I'll take a walk. Great, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Governor.